That's right. We're in downtown Los Angeles. It's a beautiful evening. It's a packed house. It's the first time ever we've been outside for this event. We were in the shadows of the Figaro Hotel, as you can see the huge murals behind me. The next rider up, it's got to be even that much more frightening. Jeremy Stenberg has been tackling the 90-footer in practice. The question is, will he go for a flip combination? He has been second place in five major events this year. He does not want to be the bridesmaid again. Sick of being second. Let's see what he's got on the 90. And that one hand around the landing, what a great jump for Jeremy Stanberg. And again, off the 90-foot jump, that means the risk is incredible. It's not 75, it's not 45, it's a full 90 feet. And you see him doing the turn there, throwing the no-footer, maybe a little tentative on the no-footer, throws up the hand, totally committed to the one-handed lander. That was big commitment. Not as big a snap kick as we saw out of uh, Ronnie Feist, but what a great jump. And this is the longest backflip landed in X Games history. Previously, Nate Adams had the record at 85. Jeremy Stenberg just puts it down. And you know, I called that no legger a little tentative, but I think I'm a liar. He had him poked way out there from that angle. <laughs> I think we both got that one on because we said it wasn't a snap like Ronnie's. And I guess he's been training with Ronnie in the gym. That's going to be enough to put him in the lead. The question is, will it be enough for gold here tonight? He 86-41, well, 92-20, so a world record, our X Games record, distance backflip, and the first place position, that's pretty solid from my boy uh, Jeremy Stenberg. That was a great one for Jeremy. I hope it's going to be enough. Look how whipped out that bike gets, how big the no-footer is, and full commitment when he is upside down to take that arm off the bike. Yeah, but it's going to be Jeremy Stenberg's first ever gold medal. And right now, let's go down to Jamie Little, who I'm sure is with the very excited Jeremy Stenberg. And Brian Deegan salutes him, all of his friends and family here. Tell us exactly how difficult was it for you to pull that trick? It wasn't difficult at all. You know, I've been doing that trick for a couple months now, so it's pretty much just came with the Brian said he wouldn't even try it. That's how hard <laughs> it was. Come on. I've had that trick in the book for at least two months, so pretty pumped to finally come and get the monkey off my bat. I've had enough seconds this year. I've had like nine, so finally pumped. I got one where it counts at X Games. You know, I've been wanting a gold medal for a long time. And he's been working very hard at it. He is your X Games gold medalist in best trick. Guys? Well, Jamie, Jeremy Stenberg does it and does it against the big dogs. He beats Pastrana, Adams, Bartram, Feist, all the hitters in the house. What they'll be riding on, the iceberg, as they like to say. There are two jumps, but there really is no option. You want to win this thing, you got to go 90 feet, the 75-foot jump, just there for decoration. And for more on the course, let's check in with Jamie Little. Well, Cam, earlier today, the guys were having a hard time with the light being so flat, they couldn't spot their lines. But tonight, we're under the lights, it's crystal clear, and visibility is much better. Now, the people watching at home, the biggest misconception is that these guys are jumping on snow, that it's a cush landing. As you can see here, it is solid ice. But with the equipment they're running, the icier it is, the better the traction, the bigger they go. Cam? Jeremy Twitch Stenberg, we've told the story before. He has Tourette syndrome, makes him shake his head involuntarily now and then, but it never happens going up to the jump. It always seems like right after he lands and he's safe, we get the head shake. It's amazing how calm he becomes just before he hits it. Let's see if he goes for the no handed combo one more time. Oh, I see how it's going to be. Hey, Ronnie. Well, remember, Ronnie landed with the one hand off, but upside down, he's throwing his arms straight above his head. And again, as you pointed out before, he has bigger extension than Nate Adams on the no-hander. So let's take a look. Shifts his foot under the peg. Look at that extension on the no-hander. Great job. Comes around almost late with the side saddle lander, but he does get it over cleanly, pulls it off. So it's going to be interesting to see what the judges think. Watch that foot hook under the peg to keep the bike from flying away. Twitch is on his game, and he lands a big trick. First jump, which is what you really need to do to see where you stand in the standings when you go into jump number two. Remember, he doesn't have the luxury of going last. Matt Rameau, the number one qualifier, does. That is a good place to be. That was almost terrifyingly late on that side saddle lander, though. And I hope the judges reward that for his commitment. 
Is it enough to take down Feist? I say yes. What do you say? I say yes to all. Yes. <laughs> 93. Oh, wow. Just got it in there in time. Right on. Jeremy Stenberg throwing down the goods. And right now, speaking of throwing down, let's check in with Jamie Little. All right, Twitch, I have to ask you, going out there, is that what you had planned? Yeah, that's what I've had planned for the past uh, couple days. I just finally sacked up and went for it. You know, I had to get done what I wanted to get done. I've been practicing that track for about two months now, so I was like, I get her done. <laughs> you think it's going to be enough to stop Matt Rabose coming up next? Well, I hope it is. If not, I'm going to have to pull something else out, so we'll see. All right, they do have one more run, Cam. Well, I just think. No! medal for Rabo. 91 4 0. Not as good as his first run score. Jeremy Twitch Stedford being congratulated by Brian Deegan. So the Metal Militia comes in and takes that top spot. And right now, let's go down to Jamie Little. Well, Cameron, we've heard from his competitors, his friends. They said it was just a matter of time before Twitch realized his true potential and his talent. And Jeremy, this year it has come together. This is your second gold medal now after Summer X. What has been the main difference in your life? I've just been on my game. You know, I've been wanting to win. I've been wanting to ride more than ever. And I came true. You know, I'm so pumped right now. I don't even got words to talk right now. I'm so excited. It's just I've been working my butt off for the past two months for this event here and you've been riding your whole life though what has made the difference to make you want to ride so much just life man i gotta thank the good lord jesus christ for keeping us all safe out here tonight and just pumped i don't even know what to say <laughs> your beautiful fiance watching your little girl at home little girl katrina at home i love you babe congratulations jeremy twitch stenberg takes home gold cam well not surprising many people pick jeremy stenberg to win this thing and you can see there it is, Ronnie Feist collecting his first ever X Games medal with the bronze. Matt Rabeau also collecting a first time medal at his first ever X Games, the silver. And Jeremy Stenberg, your big winner here tonight, going huge.